First of all, drag in your little 2D character. Open him up and just check if he's okay. He looks okay. If you have a single image like me, just uh, make sure you set it to multiple sprites and then slice it up automatically with the thingy and then just check if all those components are right. Start by dragging each component and kind of like building your character in the in the middle of the scene. Once you have your character complete, just make sure you rename them into like a structured thing. So name your torso or rank doll, name your head head, left arm, etc. Go ahead and drag every single limb under the torso, aka ragdoll. In my case, if you actually want the ragdoll to collide with something, uh, you've got to make it ground. And I just made it ground with a simple Unity thing set to tiled, uh, sorry, sliced, and added a collider to it. And that was kind of like acting as my select everything, but deselect head. Go ahead and uh, add a box collider to all of those limbs and then a circle collider to the head. Then go ahead and select all of them again and add a rigid body component to all of them, following up with a hinge joint 2D component, and then remove the hinge joint component from the ragdoll. Select all the limbs except for the torso and drag the torso under all of the hinge joint 2D components. Once you've done that, you can select all of them again and then check use uh, limits under the hinge joint 2D component. And then you can go ahead and edit the, the actual joint. So just move the little circle thingy and then uh, make sure the because uh, there's like a little line in the middle that you see which is like the kind of the pivot point and then you, you'll just want to make sure that all of these are actually rotating, rotating in the right direction you want them to. Um, once you've done all that you can go ahead and add a layer to every single limb, uh, call it ragdoll or something like that, go into the um, edit project settings under the physics 2d and uncheck ragdoll versus ragdoll collisions so they won't collide with each other and that's pretty much it that's the end of the tutorial thank you for watching if you get some weird rotations try and do the opposite way because when you're editing the actual joint you have two points you can edit try and do it in the opposite way and live with it that way because i got some weird rotations with this but honestly it's just a lot of like tuning uh for the ragdolls themselves uh, you want to make sure you have the right rotations uh, that you're actually expecting and that kind of stuff so you're gonna have to like figure it out yourself but this is generally how you set it up and uh thanks for watching uh, yeah anyways and as always thanks to my patrons clementine cyrus sandra Stian, and the dark reverse appreciate it boys and girls